Hello and welcome to the Super Size Phys Ed Podcast. My name is Dave and I teach in Fort Myers, Florida, PE, kindergarten through fifth grade. So welcome. I appreciate you being here. I say the word a lot, appreciate, but I really do. I appreciate anybody listening to me talk. I mean, why would you want to listen to me talk? <laughs> but I do. I do appreciate it. And hopefully I can add a little value today and every day. That's why I do this. So today I want to talk about a game we've played recently called... I don't know, battleships or something like that? What do we call them? Something like that. Pumpkin ships, actually. We use it for thanks, uh, Thanksgiving, for Halloween. But let me tell you about it after this break because I need to figure out what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right. So I was thinking of a game for Halloween, and um, I, I wanted to make it a two-class game that I could run by myself while my other paras are working on um, other skills and other games with um, a couple other classes. So, so I was thinking of a game that we could play with um, using throwing and catching and aiming at targets during uh, Halloween. I keep wanting to say Thanksgiving because it's getting closer to Thanksgiving as I'm recording this. So um, I don't know how or why I did this, but I just decided, hey, I have four square courts already drawn, well, painted, that I painted in my pavilion, and uh, I want to use those, <laughs> those lines. So um, we created, or I created ships out of those four square courts, and I actually added a couple more with chalk. And the the goal of the game is to, it's, a, it's pretty simple, we put pins on the corners of the ship, and the students um, are in teams of about I don't know, six or seven, depending on the class sizes and how many ships I need. Um, you could play with one class as well because we play with one class fourth and fifth graders because I think we have to pretty much. And um, I don't know, but they're bigger and they're stronger. And um, I think it's more manageable as a one class game if you can. You can play it with two. So for the younger kids, kindergarten especially and first, um, well, here's the rules. They need to stay, have at least one foot in their ship to throw it. On the line, behind the line, um, in the ship to throw it. I, I tell them the, the rest of the court is, um, sometimes I change it. I say it's outer space or it's uh, water or you could say it's lava. That's always a good thing. Saying it's, the floor is lava, of course. And if a ball is not in their ship, they can go get it, but they need to bring it back to their ship and throw it. Now with kindergarten, we say, you know, we work on bowling skills. Sometimes we let them throw overhand. So it depends on the skills you're covering. Now we can add different levels to this. So basically um, in the beginning, again, it's protect your ship. Um, You can't, and and we put pins on the corners. You can't touch the pins with your hands or your feet. You can't squeeze the pins with your feet. (laughs) It would be, would be fair. And once a pin is down, it's down. Now, once the ship is, uh, all the pins are down, they can still play. They just, they can't win that round. They just keep knocking out other teams. Okay, so with kindergarten, I don't stress out. A lot of them don't listen. A lot of them are throwing the ball at their own ship. Um, I kind of, <laughs> I, I, I try to enforce the rules, but I I don't want to, like, stress myself out. So if they're not following 100%, um, I just kind of let them throw it around and try to knock as many pins down as I can by bowling. Or throwing um, first through first and second basically are the main regular rules we but what I added to this was a a pumpkin a plastic like trick-or-treat pumpkin that I put on top of either a milk crate or a bucket something and I put it in the middle of their ship so it's a fifth target that they're trying to knock down on the other ship okay and I said only one guard per pin or per object so they have five objects four pins in a bucket a uh, pumpkin to protect and you know that is the goal of the game is being the last one standing or as a time limit you could say okay this you know when I blow the whistle everybody freeze everybody sit let's count you know how many things everybody has left how many objects and we call a winner or or not just doesn't matter Um, that is about kindergarten through about second grade Um, now third and higher even second grade I think you could on a different level say okay this time you can put the pins anywhere you want on the outer ends of your uh, four square court or your ship so they don't have to be in the corners they can be more in the middle they can be on the sides 
And the goal obviously is to, you know, to talk about this and ask them, well, why'd you put it there? And, you know, or, and what's the, what ship is the, the going to be the hardest to attack based on where they're located? Which one's the easiest to attack? Because there might be a ship closer to the middle where they're attacked from all sides. You know, which pins are harder to get? Which pins are easier to get? You know, all these things uh, t- that you can talk about with them. And then a final level, which again, we don't do with the younger kids because it just becomes a mess. But with the older kids, I'd say even second grade and higher, you have them rotate ships each round because they seem to think that some ships are, again, easier to, to knock out and some are harder. So they rotate ships. And so they get a feel for being on an easier ship or a harder ship or maybe about the same, depending on how it's stretched out or located. So these are some variations you can use. You play a soccer game with this. You play lots of different uh, variations and, and ways to play it. I like it because it gets two classes moving and working together, talking, defending. There's defenders, there's throwers, there's gatherers. It's a real good game. It's a simple game. And now I'm going to tell you about our cowbell tip of the day. All right, everybody. So your tip of the day is to click on the link that I'm providing in the show notes, the episode notes, because I want to show you what I'm talking about. And I want to give you a free PDF of um, just what it looks like, the setup, how to play. Um, You can print this out or just read it, (laughs) whatever whatever you want to do. And just so you can see what it's all about. So that's a simple thing. But it's a really good game. I think you'll like it. You don't have to use it just for Halloween. You could put um, whatever you want with it. You could put Santa Claus hats on it. I don't care. Um, you could put uh, anything. You don't. You can just do all pins. You don't have to do anything special. Or just do a bucket in the middle and, and something on top of it, just a pin or something. And uh, that could be the final target. So that is battleships or starships or... I'm not sure what I'm going to call it, but that that is it. Download the PDF, and that is your cowbell tip of the day. All right, everybody. Thank you for tuning in to the Supersize Phys Ed podcast. You can go to my website, supersizephysed.com, for more information. You can download the PDF for free. You guys and girls are awesome. Hopefully you learned a new game today, and, and I'd love to hear more games from other people. So let me know what you got. We'll talk about them. We'll put them on the show. If you want to be a guest on the show, please reach out to me. I'll put my email in there and, and just on my website. You can email me, and I'd love to have you as a guest on my show. Don't be shy. Join the show. Join the movement, PE Nation. You guys and girls are awesome. Here's a new beat for you.